The school district wants to invest $20 million in online learning. How do you feel about that? Um, I think it's tragic. I think that, you know, they're dumbing down our children. They're making them stupid. And, and I don't use that term lightly, but they're dumbing them down as though they know nothing. They don't know how to write. They don't really know how to read because they can listen to a book. So they're not learning any, you know, applicable skills, life skills. You're learning how to interact with a computer. Once you take that away, a human being away from a child, how many more suicides can you see? And that's honesty. And I'm being real. I don't mean to offend anybody. But how many more suicides will you see because they're isolated? Some children, what they don't realize, are already isolated. So their only interaction when they come to school and to be with other people, that's their interaction. Because when they come home, they're probably locked in a room. We don't know. They probably don't eat. So now they're really going to be starving. There's going to be a lot of deaths because when they go to school, they get breakfast, lunch, and they get a snack. And that's from elementary to high school and even pre-K and kindergarten, they get free food. So now, what about the children? Think about that. What about the children that are coming to school just to eat? That's their only meal for the day, the breakfast and the lunch. What about those children? They're going to get lost in society, so therefore, and it, they're going to be labeled. It's bad enough children of color are already labeled because they're children of color because they consider us a minority. We are not a minority, we are a majority. And as soon as we know what we are in society, we will be able to move forward and everybody stick together and stop this. I mean, I'll, I'll be at the front lines to stop this. Even though my daughter is in a Christian school, but she'll be transitioning to a public school, you know, a performing arts school. You know, in a couple of years, do you think I want my child at home? No. It's, it's society is lost. And as soon as we figure out and listen to our children, listen. It's not about statistics, it's not about none of that, it's about listening to your child. Look, look at the child abuse rate alone. I can't give you a percentage because I don't want to pull it. I don't want to be wrong. But look at the child abuse rate. Look at the children who are already out of the school system because they're being bullied. What do you think is going to happen at home? They're going to get bullied online. It's going to be, again, back to the suicide situation. So people really need to think and, and don't do a survey. What would you like to see them do with that $20 million? I would like to see them hire more teachers, smaller classrooms, and at least one aide throughout the day in school. Not only that, how about a new library in our children's schools? Because it appears that the lower income areas have less books. They have to share books, so they don't have that. What about extracurricular activities? A lot of that has been taken away. Don't give them a computer only if they need to search it and it should be signed in and out accordingly. Have better school lunches so it's more nutritious so they can think better. Because when you can, you know, if you're not hungry, you can think better. So more books, handwriting classes, more activities to keep these children engaged, to keep them off the corner selling drugs, keep them from sticking up other folks, it, you know, just keep them off the streets and engage because guess what? When you take things away from them that, that have their mind idle, this is what makes them go outside in the street. Add more stuff into school, more books. How about classrooms? How about people that look like them in their school? How about that? I am not at all racist or prejudiced, okay? I'm a firm believer that a person that doesn't look like me, what can they tell me about me and my culture? They can live among my tribe for many years, but they weren't born into my tribe, so they don't know the actual culture. So hire more people that look like me. Have scholarships to engage parents that may want to do it but don't have access. Use a part of that money for parents to get re-educated. How about helping them get their diploma, a college degree so they can teach and be a mentor to their children, other children that look like them. 
So have more of that. Use that 20 million for something positive because when you engage our children, it's nothing they can't do. When you have a good and kind word to say, it's nothing they can't do. More books, less computers, more teachers, smaller classrooms, and an aid in each room. Take out the metal detectors. They're not criminals. They are not criminals. You understand? You have metal detectors like they are criminals, like they're coming in here with knives and guns, okay? When you set a mind up like that, that's how they gonna be. Because it's like when you cage an animal, he becomes an animal. Because he, he might be an animal, but you make him cage. So he can step out the cage, but his mind is still caged. So take, the, take that out of there. Treat them like human beings. That's what they are, human beings. At the end of the day, we're not a race, okay? Understand, we're a part of the human race, but we are a culture, we are an ethnicity. We are not a race. I do not understand. We walk on everything else is a challenge.